Hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm Erin Shesley, director of Oracle Kids USA. I want to express our appreciation for the entire Atlanta AGO National Convention team for all of their hard work leading up to the summer and for their continued work that made this virtual opportunity possible. Special thanks to Nicole, Robin, Jeremy, Trey, and Janet. We were so looking forward to meeting you, looking forward to the heat of Atlanta, and fried green tomatoes. I want to use this opportunity to update you on the current status of Oracle Kids in the U.S., the progress we've had with making this resource more widely available, and the role AGO has had in that growth. It's important to establish that this is a volunteer operation, so you understand that what you might otherwise interpret as a used car salesperson vibe is really just a mother motivated by a really, really amazing concept. I started Oracle Kids USA as an all-volunteer, nonprofit family effort to spread this idea. We launched in 2016 with support and grants from the Eugene, San Francisco, Seattle, and New York chapters of AGO. From our very inception, AGO has been answering the call to help bring Oracle Kids to the states. And thanks too to Boston AGO for a more recent grant. Now, if this is your first introduction to the Oracle Kids concept, a 133 piece puzzle that any group can assemble into a working two rank hand pumped pipe organ in anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour, please do read our two introductory publications in the American Organist and the online journal Vox Humana for several examples of how Oracle Kids has been used to engage the public. You'll find these links to these two articles, along with other information I'll reference, in a supplementary PDF. Our adventure started, like most things these days, with a Google search. I googled Pipe Organ Kits for Children in 2015, which led us to the Netherlands, and Lydia Rogenweig, the founder of Oracle Kids, and Vim Janssen, the organ builder who designed and developed the organ kit. They gave us Oracle Kids. We gave them t-shirts. When we first learned of the Oracle Kids organ kit in 2015, there were only two kits in existence, and they were both in the Netherlands. Now there are about 60 kits worldwide. But let's take a closer look at the United States and the role of AGO chapters in this growth. There are about 20 kits in the United States. Two nonprofits, the Friends of the Urban Organ in New York City and the Friends of the Kochmar Organ in Portland, Maine, have both added kits to their outreach and education repertoire, as has Clemson University Brooks Center for the Performing Arts, and three churches have now commissioned their own kits. But some exciting news is that the majority of these kits are being curated by AGO chapters. Give yourself a pat on the back. 12 chapters are curating 11 kits across the states. Hawaii was the first. Long Beach in Los Angeles soon followed, and I want to give them a shout out as a model of two chapters pooling their resources and sharing a kit. The other chapters are Greater Hartford, Colorado Springs, Southwest Florida, Charlotte, and Greater Bridgeport. Central Iowa's kit will be completed this August. The kit after that one will be the 20th kit we've helped place. Thank you, AGO, for bringing the Oracle Kids experience to your communities. For why Oracle Kids and AGO are a natural pairing, we need look no further than AGO's mission and vision to foster a thriving community of musicians who inspire passion for the organ and support them in doing so. By curating a kit as a resource, AGO chapters are supporting their members' efforts to connect with their communities and equipping their members with a powerful tool for inspiring passion. 
Now let's look specifically at why Orgel Kids is a great fit for the American Guild of Organists and a powerful tool with which AGO can engage the public and increase awareness of the pipe organ. First, Orgel Kids both complements and extends AGO's three existing national outreach programs, Pipeworks, Pedal Pipes and Pizza, and the Pipe Organ Encounters. And it can integrate with those existing programs, or it can stand alone. Orgel Kids is designed to capture interest at a younger age than AGO's existing programs. Orgel Kids can be used with kindergarten groups on up. Orgel Kids lowers the threshold for participation. PPPs and POEs frequently have the prerequisite of prior piano experience. Orgel Kids, on the other hand, requires nothing of its audience beyond curiosity. And we all have curiosity. Orgel Kids is hands-on and therefore appeals to both musicians and builders alike. Orgel Kids captures the zeitgeist of the STEM craze in education, where STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math, and the DIY, or do-it-yourself movement. You can get an entirely different audience by advertising, come build an organ before a concert, than if you advertise, come listen to a concert, or come learn about the organ. And Orgel Kids is mobile which is a rarity in the organ world. It comes to the audience rather than vice versa. Orgel Kids can be shared in schools and museums and at your community's next music festival or science and engineering festivals. For example, Bach in the Subway is a global movement that brings musicians out to the people to share Bach's music for his birthday one weekend every March. Initiated by a cellist in the subways of New York, there are only three requirements to participating. You must be sharing your music in a public venue, accept no money, and all the repertoire must be Bach. Subways are optional. Now, while organists certainly play their fair share of Bach in March, it tends to be in traditional concert venues. Bach in the subways truly is a global party. Too few of these pins on the map are organ performances, however and it's disproportionate to the importance of Bach to the organ, and vice versa. Organists can now join in the Bach in the Subway fun by deploying Orgel Kids in a public space, perform Bach, and use that interaction as an opportunity to invite the public to a more traditional performance on a full-size organ. Now you might be saying, hold on, wait a minute there. How do you expect me to play Bach on a two-octave Orgel Kids kit? We've got you covered! In celebration of the 10th anniversary of Orgel Kids in the Netherlands and the result of an international composition contest, there's an entire book of new music for Orgel Kids kits, and it includes an entire section of Bach adapted to fit on Orgel Kids. I'll call out one contributing composer in particular who created not one, but 10 new solo pieces. Rochelle Lorin, AGO Distinguished Composer of 2020. But she composed for Oracle Kids first. But why are we talking about Oracle Kids in a time when organs have been sitting silent and organists kept from their benches? Perhaps? Maybe a tool such as Orgel Kids can help organists reconnect with their communities, their congregations, their public, their audiences. It reminds me of what Dr. Daryl Bailey has identified about Orgel Kids. Dr. Bailey has helped launch Orgel Kids programs in Taiwan and China, as well as Indiana AGO's program, Orgel Kids Indy. Dr. Bailey says this of the Orgel Kids programs, quote, the mission is really about wonderment. Yes, young people learn about the pipe organ. They learn to work as a team. They learn how music adds beauty to life. They feel happiness when seeing what their hands can put together. They touch quality, craftsmanship. However, it is the sense of wonderment that is the true lifelong lesson." End quote. 
We are all very much in need of a large dose of wonderment these days. And having a pile of beautiful handcrafted wood transform by your own hands into a human powered musical instrument delivers wonderment in spades. And so we at Orgle Kids USA seek to deliver more wonderment in the coming months by offering four grants from our Roger L. Danielson Family Fund to AGO chapters that want to add a kit to their outreach repertoire. Please find the details in the supplemental PDF. With that, we will leave you with this thought. To ensure a vibrant future for the pipe organ, we should capture the interest of the next generation when they are young, and then they will always have a place in their heart for the organ. Orgle Kids makes the king of instruments accessible. What is accessible is then lovable.